Jane King, presented by Lee Kossel and Feigley Attorneys at Law. Jane starts with the U.S. labor market. What's the July jobs report look like it will come in at it? That's right. Well, we're, uh, we'll get those numbers in about an hour, Scott and Kylie, but uh, we do expect things to slow down a little bit from the robust job growth that we have seen in recent months. Uh, Wall Street expects payrolls increased by 200,000 in July. So that would be the smallest gain since December of 2020. The unemployment rate projected to hold steady at 3.6%. Now, economists have been wildly wrong on the jobs report last couple of months. So we'll see what number we actually get here in just about an hour. Well, a new study from the Texas A&M School of Public Health looked at how workers use their computers to find which days of the week are the most and least productive. The least productive time of the week is Friday afternoon, to the surprise of no one. And it seems that Monday gets a bad rap, at least from a productivity point of view. And Google making it a lot easier to find and remove your contact information from search results. The company will now send out notifications when it finds your address, phone number, or email on the web, allowing you to review and request removal of that information. Google previously required you to search for your personal information and then manually request its removal. And Threads, Meta's Twitter rival, is struggling to retain users about a month after its highly publicized launch. Data from market research firm Similar Web and Sensor Tower showed Threads' daily active user is down, the account is down 82%. As of July 31st, just 8 million users are accessing that app each day, compared to about 45 million in the beginning. Well, the S&P 500 lower for a third straight day. We're kind of positioning ahead of the job report and uh, today we're slightly higher as we wait on those numbers live from the nasdaq market site i'm jane king back to you jane from the originals to the reinventions to the wednesdays the adams <laughs> family just yes. continues to stay relevant <laughs> Decades and decades, right? And the Adams family is crowned America's favorite on-screen family. So a poll of 2,000 U.S. adults with streaming subscriptions done by Plex and One Poll found the spooky family is uh, popular, is uh, followed by the Simpsons, so they're number two, the Brady family, and then the Bundy family. And the study found 82% of people bond with their family and friends over love of the same TV shows and movies. See, you know, when I was a kid, it was the Monsters. And the yeah. other families out there, you picked one yeah. or the other, and we were a Monsters family. So I and I always got confused, that. right? Yeah. I got confused between the Monsters and the yeah. Adams family. Yeah. Uh, I was like, which one's which? Yeah, they are very similar, <laughs> obviously, in a lot of spooky vibes. There's the the Griffith, the Andy Griffith show, there's that family, yeah. and uh, there are just so many good, good, wholesome ones. Right. And The Simpsons is totally believable, right? I mean, everybody. Yeah. Oh, yes. Simpsons. Uh, so. I'm been on long enough for me to stop being Bart and start being Homer. So. <laughs> <laughs> Donuts and beer. <laughs> Thank you, Jane.